Okay, we'll now take a look at exercise 1819, which deals with a stock dividend. Now, with a stock dividend, you guys, the issuing corporation uh, or the corporation who's giving out the stock dividend has decided to give extra shares to all of their current shareholders. Um, a lot of times that's done in a year where the corporation is... Uh, is accustomed to paying a uh, cash dividend every year and the shareholders are accustomed to receiving a cash dividend every year. But maybe this year cash is kind of tight so instead of giving them cash we're going to give them extra shares. Now here it's a 10% stock dividend in this problem. They want us to make the entry on the day the uh, stock dividend is declared and then on the day it's issued. Now remember dividends would decrease retained earnings but you guys if we give everyone 10 percent more shares then uh, each individual stockholders percentage of the company that they own remains the same right um, because everyone now has 10 percent more shares okay um, Let's read through it here. The shareholders' equity of Core Technologies Company on June 30th, 2015 included the following. They have common stock at $1 par, 8 million shares authorized by the state, 3 million sh uh, shares issued and outstanding. And remember, common stock goes on the books at par value. So it's $1 par, 3 million shares have been issued. So notice the balance in common stock, of course, is $3 million. It looks like on the average these shares were issued at uh, $5 per share, though, because what uh, on the 3 million shares, $1 per share went into common stock, and then what $4 per share went into paid in capital in excess of par common stock, uh, because the balance here is $12 million. And then the balance in retained earnings is $14 million. On April 1, 2016, the Board of Directors of Core Technologies declared a 10% stock dividend on common shares to be distributed on June 1st. The market price of Core Technologies common stock was $30 on April 1, 2016 and $40 on June 1, 2016. The number we'll use will be the market value on the day the stock dividend was declared, April 1st. The uh, market value on the date of distribution is not relevant. They just throw that in to maybe confuse you. We're dealing in 2016 here. And this first entry is on April 1st. Okay, we're going to remember uh, dividends decrease retained earnings, which decreases on the debit side. Okay, it's going to be equal to how many shares are outstanding? Well, 3 million times 0.1. And that'll give us the number of shares that they're going to issue in the stock dividend. And then the market price on April 1st is $30 per share. So it's going to be 300,000 shares at $30 a share. And that comes to $9 million. Now we'll credit... common stock dividends distributable okay and the common stock will go on the books eventually at its par value uh, it's the number of shares here would be the three million times ten percent which we already said was 300,000 times par value of $1 or
Okay, and then we'll credit paid in capital and excess for par common stock for the difference nine million minus the three hundred thousand or eight million seven hundred thousand now on the day that the shares are mailed out which is June 1st the entry is fairly simple we'll just debit common stock dividends distributable for 300,000 wiping out its balance and then we'll put the actual common stock shares on the books. At 300,000 as well. Okay, you guys, I think this has been a fairly simple chapter. We're looking at five exercises here. I just wanted to pick some kind of oddball stock transactions that really not, um, par for the course if you if you will um, things that are a little bit different stock dividend retiring some shares purchasing and selling treasury stock uh, some trading some stock for legal services trading some stock for equipment if you have any problems with these uh, please be in touch and uh, thanks a lot hope you have a great day